Hey, what's going on? It's Hutch Nast. The cryptocurrency platform Voyager has filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy after a fall of Luna Terra and a deal gone wrong with 3AC. Now, they're giving us another update. Invest Voyager at Invest Voyager tweets out, Voyagers, we understand how critical it is to get access to the value of your account, and we are working through this process as quickly as possible to do just that. Today's post provides an update to customer cash and crypto and next steps. Customer cash belongs to you and will go back to you, subject to the reconciliation and fraud prevention process. All customer cash is held in a customer account at Metropolitan Commercial Bank and is equal to the amount of cash in Voyager's account. As we have noted, Voyager currently has approximately $1.3 billion of crypto assets on the platform, plus claims against 3 Arrow Capital, 3AC, of more than $650 million. Under the proposed reconciliation plan, I'm sorry, under proposed reorganization plan, customers with crypto in their accounts will receive a combination of the following. Pro rata shares of crypto, per rate of share of proceeds from 3AC recovery, pro rata share of common shares in newly reorganized company and pro rata share of Voyager tokens. Once again, today's post provides more details and there's actually a link I'll provide it in the description below. We know you have many questions. We'll continue to work to get you answers. Thanks for your continued support. Now, this is super, super not good for cryptocurrency as a whole. It's not good for the community, and it's especially not good for the 3.5 million users of Voyager. So if, if it's just, if they're going to just split up the proceeds or um, whatever they can recoup from 3AC, then really you're looking at, you're looking at like a class action and I don't know if you guys have ever joined a class action lawsuit, but I think the biggest check I ever got was like $7.11. So, I, I mean, the the idea of trying to reorganize Voyager and, you know, continue to drop out shares of that token, I like the idea in in theory. Do I think that that the value of that token is going to end up going up after all of this. I don't really see that happening. So there's, there's only really one, one company I know about that, that like overcame something this catastrophic. It was actually Tylenol. You guys should look that up. Somebody tampered with uh, Tylenol and they figured out a way to rebrand and uh, put like the safety seal on it. So it can't be tampered with. And, and the company was actually saved from that. So this this is a very different thing. Um, it doesn't appear that anybody's gotten sick or passed away from uh, Voyager's shutdown. However, it's going to take a, a lot of marketing to kind of dig out of the hole that they've dug themselves. And really, crypto sentiment has been down anyway. So I think that it's like kind of a perfect storm for them to just really – just not exist anymore. And it sucks. And my heart goes out to anybody that has assets on the platform right now. I, I personally don't, but I know that I would be sick over it. So I, I hope that they continue to make the right decisions and maybe they're able to turn this ship around. If you like this video, I'll actually link a couple more videos on Voyager in the description below. This has been Hutch Nast and I'll see you in the next one.